I'm be honest with y'all. I didn't give a fuck about anything Fallout until I saw the TV series. Let's talk about Fallout. It just didn't hit with me. The game series did not hit with me back in the day. Uh, I love the art design. Pit Boy reminded me of a cross between the Pet Boys logo and Bob Big Boys. Uh, I like the whole 50s aesthetic, but it just never, it wasn't giving to me back in the day. And then I checked out the TV series recently, and I just finished my second viewing of the entire series, and I gotta say, I love it. I'm gonna give you my thoughts. I'm trying not to be rambly. This is going to be a hybrid of a review and my thoughts, but just off the bat, you can tell from everyone involved the passion and craftsmanship that went involved into making this show. It's, it's strictly on display um, from the actors like Ella Purnell playing all the series of the games just to get the, just to embody the context of the character uh, for her role, just going above and beyond set designs, the way they crafted every piece. You got your sugar bombs in, 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 in one scene, you got Nuka Cola in another. I mean, it, it's, it's fantastical. And I, I said this in a couple of videos, I love it when studios decide to use practical effects. It, it's a, it's a lost art. We are branching more and more into volume, and I wish we can kind of get back to just making things again, you know, on a level like Jim Henson creature department on, you know, just it gives a nice tactile feel. Now, for those who don't really know, and I'll give, kind of give a broad strokes of the series, and this rant and review is coming from someone who, before the series, I did not play the games, all right? I, I, I'm looking at, I'm giving you this from a, from a lens of someone who has, had, has not experienced the games. And to put it bluntly, Fallout is a cross between, in my opinion, is a cross between like the Walking Dead, Mad Men, Westworld of vibe to it, right? You it starts off with, and I'm not gonna, I don't want to spoil anything. I want you guys to experience it for yourself. It's 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 just just that good. Um, it starts off with uh, a woman. She's a part of a vault community. Um, these are people that are have escaped the Fallout of you know, in the title of nuclear radiation and they're living their lives. You have, you have an idea that this is in the future, but it's sort of, they're sort of frozen in time, so to speak. Um, all the Americana that you see, all the way they, they talk to each other. Well, how, how can I say it? Uh, leave it to beaver type of way of speaking to one another. But you sense there's like something foreboding within this community. There's something that's not being said. And then we star our, our main star, uh, Lucy McLean played by Ella Purnell. She's a plucky go-getter. You know, she's, she's, she's good at science. She's good at fighting. She's good at all these things, but you can sense she's like bored. I, I know there's something more that's going on, but I'm just very bored. And, and I kind of want to get to the next chapter of my life. And the next chapter is kind of like marriage. Without giving too much away, an incident breaks out within the vault, something that no one in the vault imagined. And it causes Lucy to venture out forth beyond the vault to kind of gain these answers that may have transpired before her, before she was even born may have been the reasons why she's venturing off forward. And as she goes out into the world, she finds out that the things that she was taught in the vault are pretty much bullshit. <laughs> and she's, she's gathered around a lot of these characters who test her will, test her, her, her ment mentality, as far as the things that she was brought up as very privileged, very taken care of. You know, you were saved while all of us were damned. And it's really great to see. You're, you're seeing, and I kind of like that, where you're taking somebody who's very clean, very holier than thou, not holier than thou, but very sure of themselves, sure of what they know. They have these, they already have their worldview set and they go off into the world and that worldview is just challenged and kicked and stomped out. But somehow they maintain their core. And without giving too much away, she meets a cast of characters that, you know, one's a knight, one's a uh, zombie, if you will, but very charismatic. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about the characters in each story. Um, but she manages to come up and find the truth within the story. And one of the things I love about the Fallout series is the depictions of the character roles. So, for instance... Lucy, yeah, she, she's a woman. She's very steadfast. She's very, you know, straightforward. She's very naive in the beginning. And, she, and to, to most of the part towards the end, she's very naive. 
but she also has a brother named Norm. And he is very much like the intellectual. He's very, you know, nerdy. He wants to explore more, but he, the action elements, that's not his game. Like he doesn't do that. He's, he's more of like, I'm the man behind the chair. I'm the man behind the computer. I do all the things and, and I can figure it all out. But the elements of how they switched their roles, as far as Lucy being the main hero and the brother being the man in the chair, the nerdy one, I'm used to seeing those roles reversed where Lucy's actually the man or the woman in the chair, you know, doing all the intellectual nerdy stuff and and finding out all the clues and stuff like sleuthing and stuff like that. And the brother is the one going out there and, you know, trudging forth. And I like that kind of twist. I like that element of what they, what they've done with the series. Um, and they didn't shove it down your, down your throat. You saw it and it made sense. It made sense because the characters and how they're portrayed and how they're acting gave it believability. You know, everyone approached their role with a lot of earnest. You see a lot of great character actors in this in this show. And I think character actors are some of the, some of the best actors in the business because they are able to embody different ranges and levels with each character. And they're a- a- able to add that spice to a scene. And one specific character actor that I adore since Justified um, is Walton Goggins. Um, Walton Goggins is by far one of my favorite actors. Um, the reason why is he just commands a lot of charisma. Like even in the interviews that he's giving, like he even tells like, I I don't play video games. The last video game I played was like Galaga. Um, but it's all, you you don't trash him. You don't trash for saying that it's, it's the man of like the confidence he exudes. Um, whether he's playing, you know, a, a, a trans woman in sons of anarchy, whether he's playing a pissed off principal and vice principals on HBO, whether he's playing like a gunslinger ghoul play in fallout each role that he embodies he gives it his all and i'm immediately my eyes are immediately fixed on him and he has a type of swagger to everything that he does within this role and this is one of those roles this is one of the probably the best roles that i've seen him in because he's able to kind of switch between a very menacing villain type of role to a more suave almost like tortured individual and some of the and i don't want to get too much away because if i if i keep talking about it i'll probably get so much away but anyway he's one of my he's one of the favorite additions to this to this cast um i also like the knight played by aaron mooton he he's definitely has a future i loved most of the scenes that he was in he has this it's not only it's not innocence but it's it's a earnest belief that I can save the day that I was saved for a reason. Almost like there's almost like a zealotry to him. Um, he's willing to do whatever it takes to become a knight, anything it takes to become a knight, but he does have a heart of gold, but he's a knight that fits for this current time period, you know, where the things that he's seen, the things that he's experienced, it, it's more of like the strong survive and the weak die. And he's embodied that role inside himself and to much of his dismay it's helped him and hurt him it, it, it's caused him to meet um new people like uh, lucy and it's caused him to run into people and and hurt people so like some of his squads mate. but like i'm not going to give too much away i'm going to shut up there all i gotta say is I, I i implore you to go and see this show um that todd howard that um jonathan nolan guys that did uh westworld Lisa Joy, um, we have we're a part of this. Um, it means a lot because I love I love Westworld. Well, I love pretty much the first season, and then it got off the rails. Um, this has vibes of Westworld, but it gets to the point. Like it, it doesn't meander too much because they seem to have a lot of their plot elements sewed up so so well that it, it, it's just it's just firing on all cylinders straight away. There's no like you know, let's find the man in the center type of element. Um, and if it is that element, they give you enough breadcrumbs where you're not like, okay, I, I need to like read every lore book. I mean, you could do that if you want to, but if you, if you don't want to, that's, that's fine. The show does a great job of explaining some of the lore, um, without giving too much away. And there's a lot of things that are in the fallout games, um, from one to where we are was 76, um, that you, some of the diehard fans will see. Like I said, I have not been a fallout game fan and this show much like cyberpunk edge runners has made me a fan of the fallout games i'm now i just now installed fallout 4 and 
I am, I think I'm in, I'm in the tunnel with Massachusetts and I'm fighting like glowing ghouls and stuff like that, that are really, really hard to take down. I'm like level eight or something like that right now. But like, I, 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 I am invested in the game. It's, it's hard. Sometimes I'll look at the clock and like six hours have gone by on the weekend and I've, I've, I've just, you know, played most, most of what I need to play. But like, that's a sign of a great property. And I think that's a sign of like how games and shows and movies are going to have this new relationship where we're going to take some of those beloved games and IPs that you experienced in the past. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to dress them up and present them and adapt them to a new audience. But also we're going to go back to those same properties, just like they're doing with fallout and then like new DLC and new graphical upgrades so that we're not only winning over the old fans, we're, we're wrapping our arms and embracing the new fans, the new fans that have no idea what the fall universe is, is, is about. And I had my misgivings as far as should I focus on go back to fallout and play fallout one? Should I play fallout two? Like, what should I start off with? And I was, you know, searching through Reddit and a lot of people are saying like, it's cool. You can play fallout four, but you know, a lot of people love new Vegas and some people don't. And some people said, don't really play 76. And you know, I'm kind of interested in playing 76 right now, but in, in regardless, I just wanted to say, uh, Thank you, Bethesda, for doing this thing right. <laughs> Thank you, Amazon, for doing this thing right. This is one of my favorite shows. I've watched the seasons season twice. I've rarely done done that except with like Edge Runners and Arcane, and it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling to find a new show, a new thing, and then having new set of eyes on it. Like this is something that's always existed, and I never had the time to experience it. This has always been there. That's great. So yeah. Long story short, go see it. It's really great. Uh, thank you, Amazon. Thank you, uh, Bethesda. Um, and that's all I got. If you like this a review or rant, whatever it is, <laughs> give it a like, share, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, that's all I got. See you later.